during the celebration of the 25th anniversary of the school named after Alexander Mackenzie. Here's what his descendant, Dr. James Mackenzie, had to say about his time as Prime Minister. Prime Minister MacDonald and his cabinet cronies had secretly accepted $360,000 for the election war chest of his cabinet to allow Sir Hugh Allen and his lawyer J.J. J. Abbott, MP, to build and run the CPR. MacDonald knew that they were front men for George McMullen, the American railway financier, who led an American-dominated consortium. MacDonald denied in Parliament that his cabinet had taken bribes or that the CPR was to be financially controlled by Americans. It was proven by reformers that MacDonald had lied to Parliament and had brought down his government. Mackenzie, as leader of the opposition, was asked by Lord Dufferin to form the government in early November 1873. He subsequently won an 80-seat majority in the election of 1874, only to be defeated by a worsening depression in 1878. The issues of the day were Quebec, constitutional issues, the railways, American fishing rights in Canadian water, free trade, U.S. access to our great inland waterways, and jobs. He remained an MP for Lambton and then York East until his death on April 17, 1892. While in power, the Mackenzie government introduced the secret ballot, held elections of all candidates for Parliament on the same day, established the Royal Military College and the Supreme Court of Canada, introduced competitive bidding for public contracts, made a creditable start on the Canadian Pacific Railway, dispatched the Northwest Mounted Police, settled the first real crisis through amnesty for all persons concerned, except for Real and Lapine, who received amnesty conditional on five years banishment from Canada. Mackenzie Ball, an orangeman, labeled the solution the malignant ingenuity of a subtle mind. Settled the New Brunswick school dispute, created the first government of the Northwest Territories, and extended the suffrage. Mackenzie, once the Liberals took power, built a secret escape passage from his office to avoid party hacks in the Prime Minister's waiting room from seeking the same kind of patronage that he had railed against when the Tories were in office.